This week on StarCap, the death of Idonia's son, Merry State of Emergency Christmas, MP Philip Paul will find $45,000, and in the Dare Pastor Review, boyfriend killing out himself during sex. Hey Star Fam, I'm Jaleen, and welcome to another week of StarCap a recap of the big stories that lit your attention this week. The dancehall fraternity and fans of dancehall artist Idonia were left in shock on Saturday, December 3, as news began circulating that his son had died. Idonia and wife Kimberly Megan's nine-year-old son, Caliph Lawrence, had been battling cancer since August 2019. In a release sent out by his booking agent, Solid Agency, it was revealed that Caliph lost his fight in his parents' arms at hospital. The family is reportedly grateful for the outpouring of love, but is asking for privacy at this difficult time. Members of the Dan Sol fraternity shared touching tributes to the artist and his family. On Tuesday, Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced states of emergency in the parishes of St. Catherine, St. Anne, Clarendon, Kingston and St. Andrew, St. James, Westmoreland and Hanover. The SOEs will run for a period of two weeks, ending in the week before Christmas Day. Leader of the opposition, Mark Golden, maintained that there was no consultation with the opposition regarding the announcement. This clearly shows once again that the government has no regard for the opposition. Mr. Holness prefers to be wrong and strong, pressing on with his SOE policy. His behaviour indicates that he really does not want our support, no doubt believing that it is to his political advantage for the opposition and the government to be continuing at odds over this issue. We do not see the use of states of emergency as a policing tool as being a sustainable path forward for Jamaica. Member of Parliament for Kingston Eastern and Port Royal, Philip Powell, was on Wednesday fined $45,000 for losing his firearm. Powell was charged for negligence after his firearm was stolen in July. His report is that he made a brief stop in the Hope Pastures area, exited and locked his vehicle. Upon his return, the rear window of his vehicle was broken and the pouch containing his firearm was gone. In their pastor this week, boyfriend killing out himself during sex. What seems to be a case of long distance to love is killing the relationship of a 19-year-old young woman and her 25-year-old partner. The woman wrote into Pastor Dumas seeking advice because her boyfriend constantly takes sex enhancers so he can last longer and perform better. According to the woman, they do the complete opposite and it has now become a turn off for her. She has since found comfort in the arms of an older man she says performs much better, is more caring and does not need the help of enhancers. She is conflicted because she does not want to break up with her boyfriend, but the loving of the older man is enticing. Pastor's advice states, I am not encouraging you to go with this older man, but that is totally up to you. If this older man is a much better lover, your boyfriend will lose you. Try and convince him that he is not helping the relationship by using these sexual enhancers. What say you, Starfam? And that's it for this week's StarCap. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Jamaica Star and on Twitter at Jamaica Star. I'm Jaleen. Until next week, keep reading the star, the people paper.